A 15 year old Rosebud Lot High School student was hit and killed this morning while practicing with a cross country team. This afternoon, we have learned that the team's head coach is now on administrative leave pending an investigation from Texas DPS. Six News reporter Barry Roy is live tonight for us in the area where the boy was struck. Barry, a very sad story here today on a Monday. Yeah, Chris, very, very sad day out here on a Monday. They're just about a week and a half out here at Rosebud Lot uh, ISD from starting classes. I kind of want to show you where they are running here on FM 431. Take a look at this road. This is the road that they were running on. Uh, as you can see, very narrow, not many shoulders, uh, no sidewalks to be seen either. That is when uh, Bryce Fike uh, was running this morning around 745. We were just about a half a mile from Rosebud Lot High School. I was told by Superintendent Dr. Jim Rosebrock, the district didn't want this stretch of road used anymore, but for a reason we don't know, the team was here when the accident occurred. Now, Rosebrock tells me that it's been an emotional day filled with heartache and grief. I did ask Rosebrock this afternoon what his advice is to parents tonight after such an awful tragedy. That's a, one of the toughest questions you could have asked me. Um, you know, um, Unless you've lost a child, you can't wear, you can't walk in their shoes. You can't say, I know how you feel, because there's no way anyone can know how a person feels that has lost a child. Now, Chris, uh, Dr. Rosebrock also tells me the school was surprised the con co uh, cross country team was on this road when asked about any punishment that the coach could be facing. Rosebrock declined to answer that question. Now, this is an immense tragedy and school counselors, uh, I am told, are on hand for services uh, for students that need them. We'll have more on this story uh, on this incredible tragedy that took the life of a 15 year old boy. We'll have more on that tonight coming up at six o'clock and 10 o'clock reporting live in Rosebud lot. Barry Roy, six news. Yeah, Barry, it's the last thing you think about happening. School starting optimism's up and then a tragedy like this. It's really a sad day. Thank you, Barry.